In 1974, Sri Lanka and India agreed on a maritime boundary line between Adams Bridge and the Pork Strait. This was a major milestone in establishing Sri Lanka's sovereignty. In 1976, the Indo-Sri Lanka boundary was extended in the Bay of Bengal and the Gulf of Manam. Article 5 of the 1976 agreement stipulates that each party shall have sovereignty over the historic waters and the territorial sea as well as the islands falling on their respective sides of the line. Further, each party shall have sovereign rights and exclusive jurisdiction over the continental shelf and the exclusive economic zone as well as over their resources within this boundary. However, this fact is a hard system to ingrain in the fisher communities of southern India and northern Sri Lanka where the centuries old law was simply that no boundary exists. Hence, Indian fishing boats including the dreaded bottom trawlers on a daily basis continue to ignore Sri Lanka's territorial laws and poach its maritime resources. In recent past we have observed increment in numbers by the fishing vessels entering into Sri Lankan waters to fish illegally. It's very hard to count the actual number because they come in large numbers and neighbors try everything possible to stop them but during the dark hours they venture into the Sri Lankan seas and start trawling up especially the bottom trawling so this is very hard and tricky situation for navy because these boats are very large and made of steel hulls if we use an excessive force it is not acceptable so we don't want to use that and we don't want anybody to get hurt during these apprehensions because of this fact Usually these fishing vessels manage to evade the naval cordon no naval custody most of the time. Meanwhile the issue once again came to light yesterday following the arrest of 23 Indian fishermen along with two vessels during a navy operation conducted in the seas east of Point Pedro and Vettilai Kani. Fishing gear used to carry out illegal bottom trawling were also seized along with a stock of fish caught using the same method. First at nine spoke to Navy media spokesperson Captain Indika De Silva on the recent events of encroachment, which he said was a hard task for the Navy to prevent, while ensuring no harm comes to either side due to the often aggressive actions of the Indian boats. These boats actually are detected in radars. We have radar pictures to justify that they come in large numbers. But the problem is Sri Lanka Navy. We have to be very careful in apprehending these fishermen because sometimes they try to become aggressive because to prevent the apprehension. they do some of the evasive uh, aggressive maneuvers as well which is very dangerous and we have had uh, some occasions they have collided with our navy craft also it's very dangerous move so we try everything possible to avoid those unpleasant situations at sea with the navy seemingly unable to stem the flotilla of indian boats on a daily basis and sri lanka's own fisher community bearing the brunt of lost income and as of recently becoming under the threat of physical harm as well it seems the only means of solution remains through diplomacy glow and handsome a ati multivitamin sa uv filters degunekin vadi deepyak labade una gana hitanna hiru kiramin arakshakaragan